Welcome back to WJCL 22 morning news nearing 20 minutes now before 7 o'clock as we're starting off your Wednesday morning. Not a bad start out there. Sunshine. We'll see that throughout the day before we talk about today's forecast. Let's track out the tropics. Of course, last week, Idalia was impacting the Gulf Coast, the southeast, and now we'll be watching Tropical Storm Lee on its way to become a hurricane. Definitely looking better organized out there over the tropical Atlantic, another area off the coast of Africa. So you can see a Lee there as it's moving off toward the west northwest right here is the windward and leeward islands. Puerto Rico is there and will probably track just north of the leeward islands as we go into Saturday and Sunday. Notice this by this time tomorrow, category one hurricane, major hurricane on Friday and then approaching category five strength there on Saturday here is showing winds of 150 miles per hour as it's moving north and east of the leeward islands north of uh, Puerto Rico there on Monday. Uh, if it continue on this track here, if it did impact the east coast at the earliest, it would be middle of next week, more like late next week if it did uh, impact the uh, east coast. But uh, uh, many of the track models do turn this away from the southeast, turns it up to more maybe the Outer Banks, North Carolina or the northeast. So something we'll be watching very closely. Still have to watch this one. A lot of times, a lot of time to track this one out. And we all know that these track models here that you see here, a lot of times they change as we get closer to and three days out. So we'll be watching this as we go throughout uh, the rest of this week and of course into next week as well away from your TV to track out the tropics WJCL.com. The other area off the coast of Africa has a decent chance to develop about a 60% chance over the next three to five days as it moves west 